Hello and welcome art students. Today we are going to begin a fun project. We're going to be creating an ant farm. An ant farm is really cool. Um, all of the ants, they dig through the dirt and you can see all of their really fun tunnels. To do this project, we're gonna need a bunch of different kinds of browns, neutral color crayons. Um, we're going to need probably a pencil to write our name. We can also use a Sharpie Black permanent marker. And then for above the surface, we're probably gonna use some color crayons. Okay, here we go. Um, the first thing I want you to do, of course, is write your name in the bottom corner, down here. Here we go. And we're gonna use a, a really light color crayon. This one here is called Apricot. I would highly recommend that. And what we need to do is starting at the, let's create a line here. Um, I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna make a little bump right here. Cause usually when you see um, ants, uh, they create like a, a hill. All right, so I'm going to go ahead here now and I'm going to push really hard on my crayon when I'm coloring and I can't let there be any white cracks. Um, I can't have any white spaces in between. This is correct. Pushing lightly and scribbling around like this, that's not correct, okay? Have your crayon going in one direction, back and forth, back and forth, and apply a good amount of pressure. Don't hold your crayon like this. Hold it like this. Keep your fingers close down to the tip of your crayon. If you hold your crayon right here in the middle as you're coloring, not only are you not going to be able to apply enough pressure, but if you do apply too much pressure right here, your crayon will snap in half and we don't want that. Even broken crayons can still color. So if you break your crayon, you can still use it and still color along with it. Okay, so the objective here is to do an entire layer first of a very light neutral color like apricot or it could be peach or something very light colored. That's our first layer. And remember you want to keep pushing really hard on it. We want to do this whole area down here. Um, don't do up here. This is kind of above the ground surface. This is below the ground surface. Yes, after a while, you might need to give your hand a little break from coloring so hard. But you can do this. Notice that I'm not all over the place. I'm kind of started somewhere and I'm expanding outwards from it. Okay, you gotta have patience. You can't just color all over the place. You, it won't turn out as good. You can rotate your paper, sometimes that's nice. When you get to the edge of the paper, be careful, but get right to that edge. Okay, I'm gonna unravel my paper here a little bit more. As you can see, this does take some time. Okay. I'm gonna finish coloring the rest of my portion here. 
and then I will see you in the next video. Do a good job, push hard on those crayons, um, make sure there's no white cracks, go back over it a second time if you have to. It needs to be very hard colored and um, solid looking, okay? All right, I'll see you in the next video. Good job.